everybody, welcome back to the Hopcast. Oh, good evening, everybody. I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hanameter. And we got some Vermont beers here. Yeah. yeah, two uh, from a brewery that neither one of us have tried before, from uh, a good buddy of yours. Right, Nick Madelinski. Shut up! Um, so um, people know him in the internet's world as Nick Mad, right. to be easy. Like, cuts out the Polish, which, uh, I don't know, are you, do you shun him for that? Be like, come know. on, own your Polish roots. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. Maybe you'll be Brad Chim. Brad from Chim. That. <laughs> you're like, whoa, Chim. you're not you're not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> but Chim, um, not, not Kim. Chim. Oh, right, right. Okay, well, we've got these beers from McNeil's out of uh, Battleboro, Vermont. Uh, one of which we have an ESB, and we also have a West Coast Pale Ale. Right, an ESB. We don't usually do too many of those on the show. No, so kind of like a you know more robust, hopped up. Um, English style bitter, uh, which where that they get the extra special yeah. from. So um, I think that perhaps maybe we should start with that one. Okay, they're both coming in at five point five percent. So both yeah, from so they, Vermont, both five point five. They should be nice yeah. and drinkable. Um, so let's let's go ahead and dig in for our first first beers of the night. Right. <laughs> other than those other ones I had earlier. <laughs> All right, I'm loving the color on that, Ken. Yeah, um, very traditional to the ESB style. It's got that kind of like um, autumnal red, a little bit of orangish hue in there. Yeah, I'm sure if we were outside or inside, it'd be sparkling. Mm -hmm. Some nice hues in there. Yeah, you can tell it's a very beautiful beer. Uh, by the way, of aroma, you can uh, expect to get a nice toasty malt aroma, which it certainly does yeah. have. But the hop spice is there, too. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where you're coming up with the, the style of extra special bitter. Um, it's just got a little bit more ramped up ingredients in there than you would find with your just traditional bitter. Yeah. So let's, let's dive in. So it's in there. I mean, it's not a huge, overwhelming aroma. And this should be a fairly drinkable beer. As per the style. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It is very It's um, got a nice hop bite. And then it, I think it rounds out with those malts in the back. Yeah. But well, very drinkable. Yeah, smooth right up front. Mm -hmm. So the ESB, it's a blend of Brit, English, and American malts, right? Um, I believe that's what they said on this yeah. one, yeah. Traditionally, you know, it's an old English style, so oh, pardon us. Uh, that, was our, that was our sensor <laughs> there. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong, sir. Um, traditionally... Um, yeah, an old English style of beer, uh, so it would have all those English malts in them. But um, so they I think took it's a little kind of an Americanized American spin on it. Yeah, and you, and I think you can see that mostly in this beer with the the amount of hop bitterness. Yeah, um, it's it's actually quite bitter for an ESB. Yeah, it leaves your mouth really dry, mm -hmm. which makes you want to drink more. Which, <laughs> That's true, <laughs> and probably isn't bad on this 5.5. Yeah, yeah, you can afford to uh, have a few extras. Yeah. At 5.5, .5, no problem. But yeah, a, a little bit Americanized for the style, for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Could see sitting at the bar knocking back these, mm -hmm. no problem. I Same. bet this would be a great cask beer as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're pretty cold. We're probably just above mm -hmm. or just and below this is, um, temperature. That McNeil's is winner of 13 national and international awards. Uh, so, kudos. not sure what those awards are, but shows that they've been doing doing their thing over there. And um, I've, I've heard someone quoted, I think it was All About Beer magazine, that uh, whoever the brewer is over there may be the, the best brewer in the country, according to All About Beer magazine. Uh, okay. So. Hmm. I don't know. This is my first one. I can't, nice. I can't make that claim right now. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we test that theory out some more? Nope. Segway uh. with a little West Coast Pale Ale. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish these up. And we've got high expectations for this because here in Chicago, we have a very nice West Coast Pale Ale that we all like to uh, frequent at the at the liquor store. Yeah. Uh, that being the Daisy Cutter from Half Acre. So it's... And that's good in the can too. That's right. So it's got it's a tall order to to meet up to. So <laughs> I hope they come through. <laughs> well, as you can see, we both had no trouble with that one. 
No problem at all. Uh, a lot went of, down a lot of practice. <laughs> very smooth, and we are professionals, so it was uh, really no chore. Um, but moving along, um, looking forward to jumping into this West Coast Pale Ale. This is called Champ Ale. Right. I'm worried your expectations might be a little high on this. Just because I'm so used to the. Uh, yeah, I don't want yeah. to. To the daisy cutter there. I'm excited for it, but I'm not putting it up there. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and pour it, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, that poured out pretty cloudy. Yeah, a little hazy, uh, a nice orange color. Yeah. There's, um, a, there's a lot going on in my glass. Yeah, you can see we've got, like, a nice light here, so it's shining right through, and there, you can see a lot of the um, particles of, like, you know, I, I am assuming these are bottle condition based on looking at it and, and yeah. somewhat unfiltered I was worried someone threw some dirt in my beer <laughs> <laughs> unfiltered ale ladies and gentlemen but and that, um, the head it's kind of it's recited now but it was really fluffy it was nice pillowy great there's a, a little rousal for you let's uh, <laughs> get the party started <laughs> that's right yeah on, uh, the, on the nose it's got that kind of um, more of a citrusy hop mm -hmm. um, but pretty sweet too. Yeah, it is sweet. But it's not like um not those those big toasty malts. I think this is more you know, I mean, obviously it's going to be primarily two row. Maybe pale malt, but uh something lighter. Uh mostly dominated by by the hop, the citrus hop. Let's let's do it up. Let's drink beer. Okay. All right. All right. This has a lot of um, a lot of like that finishing bitter. It's not bitter right up front, but it finishes a little bit more bitter. But I think the majority of the flavor comes in like just your regular rounded out yeah. flavor hop, and then um, backed up by that sweet malt after that. Yeah, I think it's really well crafted and rounded mm -hmm. beer. It's not. A hop bomb. It's not a. It doesn't seem like it's. It's very well, nicely balanced, and it also like goes through those different phases, which is nice, mm -hmm. as I was saying before. Um, but what I do like about it is that it does finish dry and bitter. Yeah. So you, it's so it's not it's not cloying or anything like that. It's not too sweet, and you don't feel like going back for it. You certainly do. Yeah. I took a sip maybe 15 seconds ago. And You're I'm, ready for I'm another one. I'm <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Eat that ale. Before... I do need that ale. <laughs> Many people will attest. <laughs> yeah. What's a daisy cutter coming in? Is that six and a half? Yeah, no, that's actually a lot lower than oh, I thought it, it was. Okay. It's it's around the same. Oh, I want to say right. it's like five to five and a half. Oh, but I, okay. based on like drinking it, uh, daisy cutter does seem a little bit stronger. Okay. Um, and almost like into that IPA category, mm -hmm. like it's pushing out of the the boundaries of West Coast Pale. Yeah. But um, yeah, it does keep it uh, somewhat lower in alcohol, which I I thought was surprising. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, what I like about both these beers is they're just like pub beer. Like I'll go in there, I'll yeah. have a beer, eat something, and then go on with my day. It's not a oh fuck I'm drinking and I'm getting drunk kind of <laughs> I was thinking the same thing where you, you can kind of picture yourself going into uh, assuming they have a brew pub there and just sitting down and, and having a couple of these really nicely crafted beers I think yeah. I think they do a nice job over there yeah they're not knock you out of the water uh, I think if you live out there they're probably probably one of the go to places yeah, yeah. definitely but um, so Nick uh, who who got these beers for you? Yep. Um, was living in grew up in Chicago. Right. Then he moved, moved out to Cambodia. Cambodia. What yeah. the hell was he doing in Vermont? <laughs> he was back in Chicago showing off his new baby. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, his parents now live out in Vermont, and so he was out there. Okay. Seeing them over the summer, and they were going around to the breweries and. Picked and, us up some ales. And so now he's in Japan, so he had to, like, pick up all the good beer he could while, you know, while, he, while he still could. 
Well, he's, uh, he's finding some good places out in Japan, and I think there's good. Th- there's craft heads out in Tokyo that has three Floyds and some other stuff oh, wow. that they probably shouldn't have. But <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. Thank you, Nick, for bringing these, and I'm liking these, and we got some other ones too. Oh, cool. Them. We got the Russian Imperial. Yeah, based and... on their website, it looked like they had quite a few. Um... Uh, beers that they they feature. So. Yeah, they've been doing it since what ninety two, and mm-hmm. they started packaging in oh eight. So okay. they've been at the game a little while now. Yeah. So it shows they they've perfected the craft. <laughs> so cheers, yeah, to uh, a new brewery that we've never tried before. We always like to do that here on uh, the Hopcast yeah. to McNeil's. It's well drinkable ales. Good ales. <laughs> <laughs> cheers and thanks for watching.